I'm going to try and say this in the least cocky way, but I'm pretty confident. I don't really think that I'm going to struggle. I'm not going to let someone swoop in and take my future wife away from us. And what a lovely gaff! Look at that. I hope you like grey. Oh, even a grey dog. Where is he? Upstairs. Yep. Yeah, get that top on, boy. I want someone who's like intelligent, witty, looks a bit like a supermodel. Oh, a supermodel. Well, we've got one of them. Well, a half of one. I think that I probably need to stop treating women sometimes like it's a car lease and maybe like go for a full investment, maybe buy outright, something like that. Oh, well, I think the agents have got their hands full with this one. Oh, stop. What are oh, you yeah. saying? Well, you're toy real life. <laughs> OK, you go Sorry. over there now, because you're tall. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you, Nice to see you. Hello. Hi, Lottie, nice to meet Lottie. you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mark. How Mark. do you do? Adam, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Another Love Island alarm. No, I was thinking that. How, How do you feel about having a lot of clothing on for once? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Single lady on her own. That can't be right. Yep, here he comes like a horny moth to his blonde flame. Hello. hello. You all right? How are you? OK. I'm this good. is going to be a piece of... For this guy? Polly, never know whether it's a single kiss or a double kiss down here. Either. I mean, either way is a good kiss, so it's fine. <laughs> I think Adam is going to go in there and just slay it. He's known as a bit of a, dare I even say it, love rat. I will tread on toes to get what he wants. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know this about his, his background. Maybe he's not a hole. Maybe he's in his whole face. OK, People OK. People have their whole face. I don't like that people are quick to judge. I respect Anna and Paul's opinion, but just because someone loves sex doesn't mean that they're a player or a bad person. Preach, Dr. Tara. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Portsmouth. I've been in Portsmouth once. When was that? I think it was for like a nightclub appearance. VIP table, bucket of Smyrnaf ice, selfie with Collard, what a night. I actually remember that because I think I was the hostess at prison when you visited. Are you joking? I'm there, I'm serious. Did you look no, after me? I did, yeah. That's embarrassing. <laughs> She's met me before. Where is the May Day button? So, what's your biggest ex in a girl? Don't say blonde, because I'm out. No, it's not blonde. Okay. Right. It is just coincidence that my famous girlfriends have been brunette, right? So do you always get the girl that you like then? Yeah. Okay. Like, to be honest, yeah. It's kind of a bit like, you know, when you go to the airport, like, sometimes flights are delayed, but you always get your end destination. What is it with this guy? That's worse than his car lease line. One man who definitely needs a wake-up call that isn't just morning glory is our Adam, who's so overwhelmed with the girls on offer, he doesn't know how he's going to fit them all in. I thought the dark-haired dark girl here was great. I've just spotted an absolute worldie, so I'm going to go speak to this girl as soon as I can. Yeah, find out what that is. Yeah, you do, right? Oh, you're right. Hello, you all right? Adam, nice Jasmine, to meet you. lovely to yeah. meet you. Hang on, that's a different girl. We've actually met before. We've met before? Yeah. Where? In a nightclub. Right. You Where? don't remember? This is years ago, when you were... When I was what? In your prime. This, not in my prime. She's having me on, Shirley. Did we get together before? We didn't get together. You'd remember that. I'd, oh, I would remember that, yeah. would I? I wouldn't bet on it. So how come you're single, though? Do you think you're the problem? I'm not in my prime, so... Obviously, I've got to make that a goal. Hurt a little bit. Oh, it that dig, hurt. it dig deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It dig deep. What is your type then? Looks like it's dark hair, dark skin. Half the women here then. Watch out, ads incoming. That's it, isn't it? Hello, you're right. Hi, yeah. right, nice to meet you. Adam, I'm Katie. How are you? Who's this girl that's just walked in and just stole the show? I mean, it'd be rude to walk off now, right? Yep, the other dark haired girls will have to wait. How are you? I'm not bad, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah. Where have you been? Well, I've been aging because I'm not in my frame. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, so we've told him? Yeah. Oh, you've been going in on him then? Oh, she's, she's you've not, you've she's not done it like right. not believe me, have I? It's all right, it's fine. I'm used to it, to be fair. So what are you looking for then? I need to grow up at some point, don't I? You need to find someone who's going to support you yeah. and change their schedule to shoot, suit yours. you got a good diary? I'm a mum, so I'm very busy. What's that like, dating as a mum? Hard. I don't go out much, to be honest with you. Oh, I like that. She's been talking a lot, which means he's been asking questions and listening. But to be fair, she seems to be having a great time, so, so, so we will give him some credit for that. I bring the comedy. You bring funny. the comedy? Yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, very Can funny. Give me the best child line then. What's, um, what's this made from? Don't know, but it looks flammable. This? It looks like boyfriend material. Does it? It can be made from anything you want. Yeah, there's my child line. Yeah. <laughs> So, as Adam is blindsided by complex humour, the object of his earlier interest has strutted out into the garden and landed right in Spud's lap.
Hi, can I sit here? You can, I just dropped my drink because of you. Oh. Goodness gracious <laughs> me. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Natalie. Natalie, nice to meet you, Spuds. How What's are you? What's that short for? I'm good, how are you? Uh, what do you say? What's that short for? Yeah. Uh, French fries, sweet potatoes, carbohydrates. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure she's sold on that gag spud gun. What do you like? Gym, reading. I go to the bookshop every day. Seriously? Yeah. Have a and coffee, you go to the, the gym book. as well? Yeah, every day. She's a gym fit spod spuds. Come on, let's go. You have, um, <laughs> you have nice eyes. Thank you. Smooth spuds. Keep it up, boy. Yeah, very greeny. Very different colours. Very different colours. Yeah. Very, yeah, foresty and stuff. Like... <laughs> I feel like you're looking through my soul. What am I going to find if I look through? Darkness. Darkness? Yeah. <laughs> Not so good. Keep it light, mate. Now, you'll just see a, just a, a lonely person just lonely looking for... Person. Looking for someone, yeah. Looking for your new best friend. Yeah. Yes, back on track. Natalie, she is beautiful and she's got good chat. I've got to make this one count. It does seem like he finds her attractive, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think Spots finds everyone attractive. Because <laughs> I've never been in, in a relationship, so... How have you never been in a relationship? Because that's a bit like... What have you done wrong? Is that one of the flags? It could be a flag. It's just never popped up. I've just been schlanging my rod. Oh, Spuds, you were doing so well. And the unmistakable sound of Tom's bell can mean only one thing. The celebs' mingling time is over. And Anna and Paul and new agent Dr Tara have an announcement to make. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. What's up, guys? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? So first, we have to say thank you so much for joining us on our very first Mixer. So yes. we appreciate that. And celebs, we hope that you've worked your magic, worked your charm, and you've made some real connections. Over the course of the week, you will be going out on dates with two of our wonderful singles who you have met today. Yes. Have you made your decisions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I am nervous. This actually takes me back to Love Island couple up days. I've got PTSD and we're here again. What if they say no? That's not going to be an issue, guys. Don't you worry about that. Honestly, don't you <laughs> dare. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Adam, come on forward. <laughs> Look at him. He's cockier than a shopping cocker mouth. Let us know your choices yeah. and why. This girl I would like to pick because she is the only person that actually came up to me and I was very impressed with her. He's a pro. And this girl is Katie. <laughs> First one in the back. It's like he doesn't even have to try. Imagine life being that easy. <laughs> I would like to pick a second person because I didn't really get a fair chance at speaking to them. And they definitely caught my eye at the end. That second person is Natalie. Oh, Natalie, you've been selected for a ride on the collard couch, baby. This is not fair. Why does Adam get to choose her first? I like her too. You are my usual type, but that hasn't worked out for me as of yet. And I am holding out for somebody else. No! Hey! What? Please. Maybe not on this occasion. Oh! Oh my god, pie in the face! Cream up your